What's going on guys? This is David for Flix Talk Podcast and I'm back with another trailer reaction. Now this trailer is a little bit old, but uh, it was brought to the attention. She did makeup work on me and a few friends at one time and then she also did makeup work on my girlfriend for a Halloween party. So I'm gonna see if I can put these, if I can find these pictures and put them up right here, I'm gonna do so. Make sure you guys check her out. I'm gonna put her handle right here so you guys can follow her. Her name is Giselle Arzola. She's a really cool special effects makeup artist, so make sure you guys follow her. But I actually wanted to do a trailer reaction for a pilot that just came out for TV, and she's actually in it, and she also did the special effects makeup work on it, so it's double cool. Now the trailer I'm talking about is for a TV pilot called But Something Is There. Now I don't know too much about this. I saw a couple of thumbnails and pictures and I believe it's like a sci-fi horror type show. So uh, it, these are my first reactions guys. I just wanted to get this out there. The trailer is about a year old but I know the TV pilot is up officially as of a couple weeks ago so I'm actually going to put that in the description below so you guys can check out the full pilot. I believe it's an hour long and make sure you guys go support them as much as you can. Okay. So without further ado guys But Something Is there, the theatrical trailer. It's a cool logo. <laughs> Very futuristic. Tell us the first time you were aware of uh, these sort of experiences. I seen that book. Uh, I was seven years old. It started when Mark was a child. Something strange touched his life, and it still haunts him to this day. I was uh, asleep in my room. I woke up one night to uh, this weird silence. These bright beams of light came in through my window and started searching through That's the creepy. room. Curiosity kind of overcame my fear. Many have speculated as to its nature. Is it dreams? And if these are dreams, uh, then they're dreams that I'm sharing with thousands of other people who are having the same dream. What's happening, Grandfather? Is it gonna hurt us? No, no, it's not. Some say it's just our imaginations. I just saw a meteor, Mark, that's all. Next, I'll have you seeing leprechauns. How about banshees or ghosts? I saw those things. Evil. And I saw the red light in the sky, and so did Mark. Your grandfather sees all kinds of things, Mark, but I wouldn't take it serious. No, we saw it. It was real. My grandfather told me so many stories of experiences he had in Ireland. It's true I saw those things. And the story I'm about to tell you is real. It happened. But he wasn't just telling stories. He really did have these experiences. You could see the look of fear in his eyes when he told them to me. I will never know what I saw that night. And I will never, never forget it. Still, we're told it can't be real. The Grays. <laughs> Not separate from that which you're a part of. But something is there. Cool music, though. Oh, okay, that was it. <laughs> All right, so, but something is there. So um, this is for a TV show, like I said, guys. Uh, I don't usually react to TV shows. Um, this kind of had me feeling more like I was watching an unsolved mystery. And actually, I have this like, creepy creepy fascination with watching this type of stuff real real late at night and i always look over my shoulder and you know um now now the the kind of the aliens they showed uh were the typical grays i believe they, what they call them where they have the big heads the big eyes you know real thin thin bodies uh it looked like very like um you know amateur cgi and um it really did look creepy though when it showed the little fetus in the bottle, the alien fetus. Um, and it, and it, this guy kept saying that he had some kind of attachment. The boy had some kind of attachment to uh, to this to these alien creatures, um, probably from his father, or I mean his grandfather, who saw them in the sky. And it's just 
you know, like a telling. So it, I think we're going to get like a storytelling type episodes, um, either from the full episode or, or, or what's to come of this series. But uh, I kind of want to check it out. I mean, just I'm, I'm probably going to watch this pilot after this so I can get a little more in depth with what's going on. The quality looked pretty good. I mean, it looked low budget, but uh, some of the acting was a little, you know, not really there 100%. But uh, I'm actually looking forward to it, like I said, because, you know, our friend Giselle's in it as far as uh, I think she has a small role in it. Not sure 100% what her role is, but I know she does some of the, you know, the makeup work and stuff on it. So I'm really proud of her and I really want to kind of push this, guys, as much as we can because we're all supporting each other. And especially people in, in, you know, the filmmaking industry, it's always awesome to see them progress. So uh, make sure you guys check them out. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave her handle here one more time and in the description below so you guys can check out her page. And uh, make sure you guys check out But Something Is There. And I'm going to put the pilot, like I said, below. It looks like... Pretty creepy stuff if you guys are into sci-fi and aliens and UFOs and all that creepy stuff. All right, guys? So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you guys did like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribing and hit that bell notification for more content like this and reviews and vlogs and out and abouts and all that good stuff. Okay, guys? Thank you so much for watching. I'm David for Flix Talk signing out.